Hello viewers, welcome to linuxhelp.com. Today we're going to see how to install SIBO CMOS on CentOS 7. SIBO which is an open source digital signage that is public display signs, solutions that compromised of a web-based content management system. And it offers a choice of Windows or Android signage players. Um, if simply says it is a back-end process for creating a content for your websites. SIBO CMS will also support for media storage options for your websites by setting up a digital signatures. So in this tutorial, we will cover the installation of SIBO CMS on CentOS 7. So let's get started. And before we start the installation procedure, make sure the LAMP environment setup has been configured on your server machine. If you don't have, please watch our previous tutorials to set up LAMP environment. And let's start with downloading a SIBO CMS. Now the package has been downloaded in a zip archive format. So first let's move the archive format to the HTML location. Now let's navigate to the location. And then now let's quickly unzip the file. Now we have to change the ownership of the file in the HTML location by executing the following command. And also we should change the permission of the file in HTML location. Next we have to edit the PHP configuration file and make few changes in it. Here first we have to extend the maximum execution time. So by default it has 30 seconds. So let's change to 130 seconds. And then we have to increase the post max size. By default it is on 8 MB. So let's increase it to 128 MB. And then we have to increase the maximum file size. So by default it is 2 MB. Let's increase to 128 MB. So after making these changes, just save and quit the file. And then now you have to restart your Apache service. Now after that you can access the web browser for the further installation. So go to the web browser and call your IP address or else your host name. So this is the installation page of the SIBO. Once you have all the PHP extensions enabled on your machine, this next button will be enabled. So just press next. Here we're going to create a new database. So the host name will be a local host and let it be a admin username will be a root. Here you have to enter your MySQL server password and then assign a db name let's assign it zebo db and then assign a db username zebo db user and here you have to enter your password after configuring this just press next now if you see here it is connected to the db and you can log in using the admin name and password So here you have to give give the library location. Uh, 
after that press next now you can log in to the Zebo console using the username and password so if you see here this is the interface of a Zebo so this is how you install Zebo on center SRN. I hope this tutorial helps you. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel and also to watch more tutorials, visit www.linuxhelp.com. Mail us to support.linuxhelp.com for any queries.